Hey, what's up guys? We're just gonna do a quick, quick, quickie series. I just made that up top of my head, guys. But we're just gonna do a quick, uh, me and Dan are gonna do just a quick overview of these figures right quick in the detox, just give some quick impressions. Not really a review, but you know, just say what we think. So Dan, what do you think about this whole setup right here? I think the setup is dope. I do gotta say we're doing a double feature because we got the Chuckster in there by Once Customs and the Myers H40 H Kills by Once Customs. So we're probably gonna tackle. What do you want to tackle first? You want to tackle the Chuckster or you want to do the? What I want to tackle is that this literally looks like they're meant to be because you got the, look at it. You got this right. dial with this fire scene, and then you have like in this area right here this like fire pit thing, and then you have this burnt Chucky that looks like he just fucking climbed out of the shit right. to say, hey, what's up, Michael Myers? I'm here to help you, and it's just I think it's a really cool setup. It actually works. You know what I gotta say about. This? This piece i love the colors of the dial i think it helps bring out a lot on the myers right and obviously the chucky because they're such dark figures because i was doing a review of the lipstick demon and it's just so dark but i like how the reds really pop on that figure right right but on this one i think this this dial is probably one of the best ones i've seen with the fire that he's done because it's just he it seems to have done the fire a little bit differently than uh the one i have or the one that you did is yours kind of the same way the fire um, not nearly as elaborate and as extensive. Right. I let, I mean, the, my base, you know, it has a fire portion that lights up, so that's what you see. Which I like. I think that effect is awesome. And I know these have LEDs as well. Right. On the back, but I like the one that's on your dial just because it's so concentrated. Right. It really pops. But I love the color scheme here. I love the, the painted backdrop. There's just a lot going on and everything kind of pops. Uh, this flavor of uh, this H40 uh, Myers is a little bit different than mine's. Mine's kind of has more of that wet look as I guess he was walking down the stairs. It's very demonic when the music was like getting elevated and stuff. Obviously, he had a lot of different looks in the film. This is kind of a little bit more subtle, but nonetheless, equally as impressive. I really love the paint scheme. One just really knocked out this sculpt, man. What do you think about that sculpt, man? I think that sculpt is probably the best H-kill H -kill sculpt on the market. I think the paint's really good. I actually like the proportions on this Myers. Right. Uh, obviously, it's a different Myers because yours is from the uh, scene where he's killing the firefighters, and it's a wet look. This is more towards the middle of the movie where it's dry, even though he is represented right. in the scene. It's actually probably wet before he comes out of the house, obviously, and he's it's so hot in there, everything looks dry, which he did achieve a very dry effect look on the coveralls, I think, Right. which is nice. I like the bullet holes on there. Right. Uh, we have the outsourced boots, but he weathers them. I just love the dial, to be honest. I like the fire pit because the fire has a lot of texture, and it's kind of like a clear resin kind of thing, but it's really right. not resin. And I like the little fence over there and uh, the painted background that you can't really see. I'm not going to touch it. It's not my figure. Well, I think you hit right on the money, I think, with one's uh, recent uh, Myers figures, especially when he uses uh, the Tanilla coveralls. And even when he does the modified... Uh, That's right. These are Tanilla coveralls. Yeah, they're Tanilla. I can tell even by the zipper. But they're very similar to the Tots coveralls and even the rehauled ones. He does a really good job differentiating them and making them kind of like their own coverall. And the portioning and the overall structure of this piece uh, is very lifelike, human-like. You know me. I don't like you no know, mongoloid or loiter. Right. Or the ring type structures like i like my figures look like humans in, in miniature form so very well done very nice package um the chucky is Dude, absolutely i love phenomenal. this chucky i'm definitely gonna have to hop on one of those chuckies um i'm just i just like that you know it's done on uh neca retro cloth mm -hmm. and then he just has the custom head sculpt custom hands a custom knife all weathered i like the wires hanging out and i just love the head sculpt and uh here's another head yeah, right, right here he has the show, metal head that we can kind of show right here Right there. Oh my God, that's one, one actually really good. That knife and painted that knife by yeah, the yeah, I mentioned. I mentioned that. Yeah. So really cool. I love the eyeball on that. Hold it right there. Yeah, it really pops. Yeah, it's very very nice. Yep. So I'm probably gonna have to hop on one of those. Just to, I've always kind of wanted a Chucky from Mons. Maybe even if he does a dual pack, but that's pretty damn sick. I think it'll go nice with the Yunsel one that I have too. But uh, yeah, overall tight package, man. Overall, um, I mean, anyone that's waiting for one of these. Uh, Shout out to, uh, I believe, Saul Gomez. I think he has one that he's potentially waiting for. You'll be very happy with it. Yours will probably be a slightly different version because one doesn't like to make no two figures alike. So um, stay tuned for that. And again, um, I'm just, I'm really feeling this dial, man. Yeah, dude, I just like how everything pops together. Right. But yeah, so, I don't know. I definitely got to say the dial, I say it's definitely like a 9 out of 10. The Chucky, I got to give an, a 10 out of 10 because I don't think it could be done better, the weathering and all I that. Agree, man. Same with the secondary sculpt. The Myers head is out, out, outstanding. The only thing that I would critique is maybe a little bit of futzing on the leg, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with this thing. 
Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a different version of uh, the age kills. Uh, different. He had very, very amount of different looks throughout the movie. So, um, hands could be weathered a little better. Um, the uh, halogen tool, or whatever it's referred to. Halogen tool, yeah. Yeah, that could be a little bit more uh, detailed. But hey, overall, solid package, man. Absolutely. So, until next time, guys, stay safe, Conqueror Collection, and peace. Peace. Wow. Peace.